Okay, so we're changing the uh, filters on a 2022 Ram. You gotta open that little yellow thing down there. There's a tube that runs by the axle. I just adapted another hose up to it and down into this bottle. And we're gonna crack it open and see how that goes. All right, now, now what you need to get the top off is this 28 millimeter low profile socket. Everybody says it's 29, but it's not, it's 28. A long extension and a swivel. We're gonna see if that does it. Okay, so now we're down in there. Got the socket on there. I've got a long extension, a shorter one on a swivel. And then we're just gonna turn and crack it loose. I can't do it holding this, so I'll be right back. Oh, wow. Wait, hold on. I gotta lose an extension in my... Shit, don't do that. Here's the new filter. Um, it just snaps in there and they give you a new O-ring. I got mine from uh, Gino's garage and the O-ring stays on the canister itself. So you have to take the old one off, lube this one up with some diesel fuel and put the new one on. All right, here we are with the new one. You just gotta spin it around, push it down, you'll feel its seat and it kind of locks on. It doesn't make like a clicking noise or anything, but you can definitely feel when it's in there. And we're just gonna get the cap put back on and tighten it up. Up in there, that's where the tube for the drain comes down. I just added a extra hose on it into a jug here. All right, now for the back filter, um, I got this plastic tube. It's gonna come down to this jug. And I got it wire clamped onto the nipple. This is a... Uh, three eighths inch inner, inner diameter. You could probably do half inch and get away with not needing this. And then we got to crack this. Bleeder here open. You should open it up. Unscrews. And give me that yellow rag, hurry up. Quick. You got a little spilling out of that petcock there, but no biggie. And then from what I've read, you have to loosen this, crack this before you take it off, and that'll let more come out so it doesn't all spill on you. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back. I know I'm gonna get covered in diesel fuel. I just wanna crack it, get air in there. Cause everybody else that does this gets covered. And I'm not in the mood for that shit. It's moving. Oh, I think we should be good. Whatever's in there should be. Oh, we're good now. Close this back off. Get this out of the way. Let's see if I take a bath. Tight at this point. Yep. No 
Well, oh, no, no, no. Well, it just feels like there's still way too much in there. Oh, so it leaks out of there. That's cool. <sighs> Fucking stupid. Yeah. All right. I'm probably still gonna bath. That's about fucking eight bucks right there in fuel. Oh, now you can start. Let's get this twisted out. And a little bit. All right. I'm gonna push that up in there first. I think it clicks on a certain way. But I don't know. Can't tell. Oh boy. Well, if it don't, that's how it's going. Problem is, is the oil undercoating on everything, making it not fun. That literally feels like it's just gonna break. That's terrible. God, that is terrible feeling. Couldn't make shit out of plastic. I don't think it's on all the way. God. Man, I do not like that. How that feels. All right, now the last thing left to do is you gotta prime it. So just click it to run. Let the pump run. I'm going to do that probably five or six times, and then we'll fire it up and go out and check for leaks. All right. All right. So now we're running after priming it five or six times, and we are going to reset the filter. And the filter's reset. And then we will log our mileage and the date that we changed it. Um, Apparently it's 15,000 miles or one year. Um, I don't put a lot of miles on this truck, so I'm out of year, so that's why I changed them. And then I'll come back and show you guys the old filters and what they look like. All right, there's the front and the back filters. Uh, don't look too bad. All in all, so, but like I said, Gino's Garage, they sell these Mopar filters for a lot cheaper than the dealer wants them. 
So you should definitely check them out. And they have that low profile socket too you can use to get them on. And uh, they come with the new gaskets and save yourself four or 500 bucks from the dealership. All right, thanks.